In this video, you'll learn how to build your own waterfall diagrams in Enrich Viewport and in the Enrich Analytics platform. When you want to show how a portfolio's cost, risk, or value has changed over time, or between scenarios, and you want to understand these changes by project, by division, or by region, a waterfall is often the most effective option. First, let's look at waterfalls that distinguish between projects that increase and those that decrease a specific portfolio metric. These are created on the Waterfall tab. When the starting and ending portfolio are the same, you'll see the same value at either end of the waterfall, and all the inside columns showing project drops, project reductions, project increases, and project adds are all empty. Let's compare the current portfolio with an historical portfolio from a year earlier. In the Enrich Analytics platform, we specify the historical portfolio in the Settings panel. In Enrich Viewport, we specify the historical portfolio using the pencil in the top right corner of the web page. We'll compare net present value from the historical or reference portfolio to the current or base portfolio and look at the project level contributions. Just like a bar chart, you can choose a different metric for coloring when you show individual projects in the chart. Right away, you can see that the portfolio NPV has decreased from just under 23 billion in 2017 to just under 19 billion in 2018. Three projects are responsible for most of the drop in value. Halitercitis has been removed from the portfolio while Weglifil and Zuminez are still in the portfolio, but at a much reduced value. You can click on Weglifil to learn more about its decrease in value. Here we see that our milestones have slipped in red, and clicking on the revenue chart reveals that revenue has been delayed by three years and is less lucrative than we'd hoped. There are a few projects that offset this reduction in at present value. Radonaville has been added to the portfolio, and there's a smattering of projects that have increased in value, but these aren't enough to offset the losses. If you have dozens or hundreds of projects, it might be easier to group them by division, market segment, or another category metric in your portfolio. Just select the metric from the group dropdown. The chart will automatically color blocks by this same metric when grouping. An alternative view creates separate columns in the waterfall for each division, project, or other metric. Just select the desired metric in the breakdown dropdown. Now it's easy to see the decline in net present value occurs almost exclusively within the immunology division. Portfolio comparisons are also possible using the portfolio columns defined with checkboxes in the table just below the chart. You'll see those options in the Portfolio section of the Starting and Ending Portfolio dropdowns. With those two portfolio columns selected, you can drag those columns into the table from the field chooser and change the membership of projects and project scenarios in the portfolios and see the changes in the waterfall in real time. For metrics like revenue and annual cost, you can build a waterfall that breaks down changes between two time periods. We'll switch to the By Years tab for this next waterfall. After selecting the metric, potential revenue in this case, and grouping category, we'll start with projects. All you need to do is check the waterfall checkbox. You'll have a chart that highlights changes by project between the two years. Change the time slider to adjust the time horizon of the waterfall. It's easy to aggregate changes into divisions, phases, or any other category metric that provides insight by changing the group dropdown. Whether you're comparing investment strategies, the current portfolio versus an earlier version, or looking at revenue or cost changes over time, waterfall charts are a great way to highlight changes at any level in your portfolio. Thanks for watching.